Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube World. I want to share with you quickly what I'm going to be talking about in this video to start with and then I may end up rambling on about some random stuff. So this is World of Warcraft Classic. I'm going to be discussing my experiences and my feelings about Classic in comparison to Retail and how I'm struggling to choose which one I want to stick with based on what it is I'm looking for to get out of World of Warcraft in general, whether it be retail or classic. I've been playing the game since day one, about 15 years. What can I help you with? And um, basically, I'm just a Real little bit torn. You know, like I'm just not sure what it is that I want to do. Uh, I was working on this guy here, Cauchemar, which is Nightmare in French. And uh, he's just a level 6. I just started leveling him up uh, yesterday there. I was uh, playing on my, I guess you could say my main here. Zulujin, don't be shy, man. That was cringy, and it was supposed to be. I spent an hour and a half doing one quest, and I was recording in Feralis, and it was just incredibly, insanely boring. I have about six hours of footage I deleted. So anyhow, down the business. What it is I want to do is I just want to world PvP and have some fun. Do some BGs and not have some, like, hour-long queues. Now, as you can see here, I'm in Feralis. There's people everywhere. This is classic. There's only two maps. Not only is the rumor that there's more subscribers in Classic than on Retail, I think there's less servers on Classic. Don't quote me on that. And then they can only go here. There's no Pandaria. There's no, you know, Warlords of Draenor. There's no Outlands. There's no Cool Terras. There's no Zul... Zuldazar, whatever the hell it's called. I forget the name. You know, there's no... Uh, Man, I'm starting to forget the name of the zones. For Wrath of the Lich King there, Northrend. There's just, there's nothing. And so people are stuck having to be here. And because it takes so long to level, you're almost guaranteed to find people everywhere. So bear with me here. I'm just kind of looking at a, a couple of quests. Okay. Fly to Splinter Tree. Perfect. So we're going to do that, just for a little bit, just to kind of show you a little bit of the, uh, little bit of the gameplay. I do miss the pre kata world, before everything changed. I like the music, I like the community of Classic. Graphics really aren't that bad at all. I mean, I know retail looks better, but I don't really look at this and go, ugh. Oof, I can't do this. Like, it's not that bad to me but the queue times are decent leveling up and gearing up takes forever in classic it took me five weeks to get to level 46 almost 47 i was struggling oh see there's just people everywhere a night elf hunter there like there's just people everywhere you almost can't go anywhere for a couple of minutes without seeing people this is now thousand needles south of the barrens as you know it today, it's all underwater. That bothers me. I just, I miss the old Thousand Needles. I miss the old Shimmering Flats, which is down over here. Now everything's underwater here, right? Like, it's just, it's insane. I miss the Transmog, if I were to play Classic. I love the flying around, the Transmog, uh, having to put in less time, get more gear. When you're strapped for time, it's no wonder that people are going to gravitate to, uh, you know, retail WoW, because you get more out of your time. Whereas when you're playing Classic, you're not. But the trade-off to that is, depending on who you are, you're going to get more satisfaction out of Classic. There's no, like, burning here, you know, where the world was ripped in half. I don't know, it's... I don't find the graphics to look that much more terrible, to be honest with you, than classic. 
or uh, than retail. I was just on retail actually in Thousand Needles, Shimmering Flats, Feralis, and in uh, Southern Barrens, Northern Barrens. Oh, there's a guy there killing some Kodos or whatever those are. Peta's gonna be proud. But this is like nice to see, you know what I mean? It's just roaming around. And yes, I am a lot closer. I decided to make my webcam smaller, like the part of the game that I take, because I used to like, you know, take up more room from the screen. But I decided to zoom myself in so you can see me better. You don't need to see my PS4 box back there and my guitar back there and my fan. That's not interesting. I'm not saying this is either, but anyhow. So, the world feels alive again. Recapping here. I can't go anywhere without running into people. So, world PvP is like my number one thing. Well, see, there's a guy right there. Like, there's just people everywhere. I flew around for a couple of hours the other day, like in total. Two one-hour sessions. And I think I saw about ten people flying around old zones on retail. And I'm just like, man, that's sad. Because what happens is as expansions go on, and with how poorly they have the game designed, you're spreading people, the same amount of people, but then that diminishes as they lose subscribers over time, to more areas, so you get spread out. Right? Like I said, for here, you only have two continents. Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. I mean, what the hell? You have to manually walk to all the dungeons. So there's like that sense of danger, depending on... Is it Horde territory or Alliance territory? Scarlet Monastery, that's never gonna get bored. To be ganking outside of there. If I had, like, a 19 twink, I could be, like, safe in Trisful Glades. Just go up to Scarlet Monastery, sneak around, poke, poke. Make sure those pesky little gnomes stay far away from our monastery. And then queuing up for BGs is actually fairly decent in the 10 to 19 bracket. A couple people said it was in the greatest at the 20 to 29 bracket. But, uh... So I would probably stick to the 19 and, you know, start working on uh, getting the gear. Most of the gear you can actually buy. Uh, it's bind on equip, and I have a little bit of gold there uh, that I could splurge to properly twink them. But I just don't know what I want to do. Like I said, I don't know if I want to twink a 19 or two. And then just do Warsong Gulch. That's all I would be able to do. Or if I want to go ahead to 60 and then go crazy. And then the whole world is my playground. I can go anywhere I want. I'm a 60. And just kind of roam around, see who's around, and poke people with my daggers. Or if I want to stick to retail. 90% of the game's dead in terms of the zones. But it's current, it's quicker, I don't have to put in as much time. Like I said, I'm working on my YouTube channel, I'm not Asmongold, I'm not Hazel Nutsack, Hazel Nutty Sack Games, whatever her name is, that does uh, World of Warcraft. I mean, those people are successful at their channel and they predominantly do World of Warcraft content. So people that watch them know to expect, wow, my channel is doing well uh, since I've started my channel. Started working on it about a year and a half ago. Uh, I average about a quarter of a million views a month, but those don't come from me playing video games. People don't enjoy watching me play games and ramble on, but I absolutely adore doing it. So, it's one of those things where I don't want to just go where the views are. I don't want to just go where the money is. I also want to do what I enjoy, but at the same time you have to balance out doing what people enjoy seeing too. Right? Because if you just do what you want to do, and people don't like what you're doing, they're not going to watch you. You're not going to get any of this. Right? So, 95, 99%, if not 100% of the money I'm making is from views that I'm getting from doing patch notes. Uh, 
you know, random glitches or exploits in a video game or something like that, or... It's not from just me playing a game, whether I'm good at the game or not. I've had some incredible matches in, uh... In Call of Duty, for example. Where I actually did pretty good. Quite a few matches where I was, like, top two, top three. But... You know, that got 17 views. There might be a video where I completely sucked really bad and that got 30 views. Well, because people don't know I suck until they watch the video and realize that I sucked, right? And I'm not going to put in the title, Oh, I was good here. Check me out. I just put, you know, there's the gameplay and that's it. And that's an instant gratification game. It doesn't really matter how long you've been away for. Um, you're able to just jump right in and get into the action. When it comes to uh, even a game like Guild Wars 2, you know, there's virtually no gear grind in that game. You could buy all your gear and, you know, the goal to buy it from the trade post, they call it. And it's relatively easy. And in several years, the item level, if you will, the power, it hasn't gone up. So every zone has a different level bracket, like World of Warcraft, but your character scales to the level. So, like, right now, I'm in Ashenvale. Ashenvale is a what? Uh, I don't know what Ashenvale is. I think it's like a 15 to 20-ish range. I forget now, because in retail, it's like 15 to 60 or whatever. Let's say it's 15 to 30, just to keep it, you know, from the wide spectrum. 15 to 30. So... If I were to play the game, and this was Guild Wars 2, oh, that scared me. Uh, I would be basically level 30. I would be whatever level they are. Why is this guy going sideways? So that's essentially what would be happening. But there's also no open world PvP. They, there's a zone that you can go into to PvP, and it like there's no queue times. You just you hop in, and there it is. It's like an Alterac Valley that never ends, if you will. And that's Guild Wars 2, but it can take you a really long time before people decide to actually do assaults and do stuff. So, it can take a while for you to get into the action, but you can you can just hop in, though. Like I said, there's literally, like, no waiting around. So, that's the fun part about Guild Wars 2 for that. Lately, because of COVID... It appears as though their servers are a little overran, so they're not they're not performing well. Like, I upgraded my graphics card uh, about a month ago or so, and I decided to start playing going, haha, I can crank up the graphics, or at least, you know, do better, have better performance out of my game. Oh no, <laughs> it's actually running worse, because there's that many more people and it's congesting the servers, but generally speaking, Guild Wars 2, wow. You want to talk about... Uh, being able to play multiple alts, go to any zone. There's a dynamic event going on all the time. There's a reason for you to be in every single zone in Guild Wars 2. There's a reason. It's amazing. So you would think, well, why don't you just go there then? Because there's something that gravitates me to play World of Warcraft. Again, like I said, whether it's retail or classic. If I want that sense of, man, there's just people everywhere, and I want to sneak around and a poke-poke here and a poke-poke there, um, then Classic would be it. Even if they go as far up as Wrath of the Lich King, you know, there's still going to be a lot of people. Um, I don't... Is that Alliance? I think that's an Alliance. Uh, yeah, it is. That's the Alliance flight path. We're not going to go there. I think in retail, Ashura is like a noob zone now. Uh-oh. Oh, it's an undead rogue. Okay. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Turn in betrayed. Do I even... Oh, I do have the quest betrayed. Okay. It's a red quest because I think this is a high level zone. Well, not high, high, but like 40-ish. Yeah, see, 40s. Yeah, it's around my level. Okay. So anyhow, so that's what I'm struggling with. 
like I said, the the people that don't like retail, I know why you don't like it. But if you do like retail, I know why you like it as well. There is, like anything, things to love and hate. I love classic because of the feel. But I hate how effing slow it is. It's annoying when you don't have a lot of time to invest. Or when you're not sure what to do, you pick a character, you change your mind, you end up playing an alt. You gotta start like another... It's like easily a two to two to three month grind before you get to top level and some good gear. That's an entire season right there. Right? So you better figure out what you want to play. And me, I know that I essentially predominantly want to be a rogue. That I know, especially for world PvP, it's just, uh... To me, it's just so much fun. I absolutely hate the PvE, but that's a huge part of the game. PvE, you gotta level up. That's huge. You're gonna be spending countless amounts of hours getting to, um... Getting to 60. So I pretty much dread leveling at all. Which is not a good thing, right? It's because I'm looking at the bigger picture. Where I'm going to be in the end. And, uh, and then you hope that it's all worth it in the end. See, there's just, like, people everywhere. That Benediction Anathema staff there that people have, I've never seen it so much in my whole life. It's really something else. Uh, I don't remember in Classic having that many people having it. Blood and thunder. Mind you, it's been like 15 <laughs> effing years. So... Strength. Now it wants me to... Oh, okay. Oh, good. I have to go back to Orgrimmar. That's even better. Fly to Orgrimmar. Good. Because I actually have to go to the auction house and do a couple of things. Oh. I have to put the thing on where it auto dismounts you. So yeah, so now that I have a couple of weeks left on my subscription, I'm probably going to come back. I'm not too sure. There's a chance I just say, you know what, forget this. The time sink that this takes up isn't worth how it's going to take away from my YouTube channel. Uh... You know, working on things that are going to get me more views. So that my channel doesn't go down the toilet. I just don't know. I still don't know. That's why I keep playing both. I keep playing... Uh, Guild Wars I would play more if, if it wasn't so unstable. Like if it actually performed well. Uh, I would play it. It's not as fun to me, but it can do a lot for you, for how little time you'll put in. Again, if I'm just looking to, you know, world PvP, do some BGs, I think Classic is the way to go. That said, if I don't mind sticking to the newer continent only, then I can find plenty of world PvP in retail. Right? It's just with Classic, you can go anywhere and get the PvP. God, I miss old Orgrimmar. Let's take a look at this when we, uh, when we fly in. Like, I just... I just don't like post kata world. I just, I just don't. It, I've never got used to it. You would think after all these years, I would like, get over it. But I never have. I just never have. Now, where does it want me to go? Oh, it wants me to go to, um, Trisful Glades. See? Lieutenant General. This is actually probably what I was kind of hoping to get. 
as far as yeah get like the lobotomizer corn hound tooth get like a little this is about what I looked like back in the day in 2005 was it when all this stuff came out this is about what I looked like yeah there's the dark moon fair card yeah I remember that black hands breadth yeah that was a pretty good one and just the uh, again requires level 58 level 60 yeah, even the blues. And this takes a while to, to even get that. Uh, but most of that gear is from PvP. Oh, there's uh, Tier 2. No, Tier 1. Night Slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tier 1 uh, gloves. Yeah, Molten Core trash. Yeah. So that's actually essentially what I looked like. And if I were to do this... Well, except for maybe the helmet... Let's kind of deck my guy out and see what I would look like. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would look like. I mean, that's uh, it's kind of sexy. I'm just saying. That could be me. It's too bad you can't hide your shoulders in Classic, though. I'm just glad I'm not an orc. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I would look like. And, uh, I mean, it's not too, too bad. It'd be fun. Anyhow, that could potentially be me. But even that, like I said, you gotta put in a lot of time. And to go from that to the Warlord, and then High Warlord to get the top rank PvP uh, gear. Oh, you shish kebab. Holy shitballs, look at the amount of people. And this is an even cross realm. <laughs> This is just, like, this server, or at least I think so. Yeah, because there's no, like, cross-realm. You wouldn't want it. The server would crash from all the people. But look at that. Everybody's got the benediction and a theme. Almost everybody's geared out. But I hear rumors that people now are so geared, and this isn't 2004, 2005. People know what they're doing now. Apparently, people are clearing, like, Molten Core and Zul'Gurub. In like two hours, both combined. 30 to 45 minutes for Zulguru, which I'm having a bit of a hard time believing, but apparently it's true. And about an hour and a half for Molten Core. And I'm like, that's pretty damn wild. Like, just, just look at that. I don't even think there's this many people on retail with Cross Realm from all the people combined together. Like, that's just absolutely crazy. Anyhow, I am going to go to the auction house, and I'm just going to stand there, and I kind of want to focus on what it is I'm going to be selling. So I shall be back. Well, you won't notice the difference, but uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. So I bought some poisons, learned a few skills. That almost took, like, six minutes. Literally made a bunch of poisons. <clears throat> yeah, so I think now what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, because I'm showcasing some footage, I'm rambling on about my pleasures and displeasures about both games and my lack of time and how it makes me nervous that I might not be able to get out of Classic what I want from it because I may not be able to gear sufficiently to enjoy my character. So, <clears throat> I am just going to play at least hit level 47 I got a couple of pieces of armor nothing fancy obviously that I can equip once I hit 47 but I just love you know roaming around seeing the world how populated it is I think I have to go to the undercity I'm not too sure but yeah just keep questing. I may only level this guy while he's rested. It's really hard to say. I do want to work on my undead rogue a little bit. If I'm going to uh, make a twink horde, I believe undead rogue is likely the best. <clears throat> I would do torn rogue if you could, but you can't. 
Unless you play on a private server, of course. But yeah, I love the music of Classic. Now, I like the music that they've introduced in other expansions as well. But what I noticed is when you play Retail now, you'll get some of the newer music that plays in the older zones. And I feel it kind of kills the... the atmosphere, the vibe. Look at that, eh? There's just, like, people everywhere, but everyone's, like, decked out. I almost can't find... <clears throat> a level 60 that doesn't have some really nice gear. Could just be, like people have been saying, it's a lot easier to gear now, so... It's a lot quicker. Definitely the number one thing I hate the most about Classic is how everyone looks like a turd. Like, I mean, look at that. So ugly. Like, I mean, at least if I could dye my armor so it was all the same color. That would be one thing. You know, if I could at least do that. Like, I kind of like that orange. You now, if I could dye the chest, like in Guild Wars, or have outfits, my gloves orange and black, or whatever, that would be pretty cool. I would like that a lot more. Oh, and this guy's almost level, so wow, look at that. I think, ah, uh, they might be going to Zul'Gurub. Yeah. Would make sense. Because there's only a few places you can raid, I think. Blackwing Lair? Don't quote me on that now, because I'm out of the loop. Zul'Gurub and Molten Core. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. Because of the limited time that I have, I know I keep going on about that, but also the time frame in which I have said time to play around. That's not normally when people are, uh, are raiding. So me, <clears throat> it's almost going to be exclusively like PvP. Just seeing how long the queue times are and all that kind of stuff. I don't think people are twinking at 49. Because I'm 46, almost 47. Sometimes I'm like, that's it, I'm just going to uh, go to 49 and end it. I think it's 1929. Some 39, I don't think there's that many people that are doing 49. <clears throat> but at least at 49, in that bracket, you at least have your mount. Because at 39, you're like that one, you know, you're that one level away from getting your mount. <clears throat> it would drive me crazy. Yeah, there truly is something pretty magical about Classic, I gotta say. You know, if we can't transmog, I gotta admit, I wish I could at least hide more armor. You know, that feature where you can hide your cloak and your helm, and how you can hide virtually all your gear now on retail except for your pants. I wish I could at least do that. So if I can't transmog my gear to make it look like something else, at least make me have it so that I only need to show my pants. That I have to admit <clears throat> would make a difference. I would enjoy that more. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, where's all that water coming from? <clears throat> Obviously. Man, I can't wait to start, uh... World PvPing someday. It's gonna be so much fun. You know, when I think about twinking at 19, and it's like, oh yeah, I'll be able to get a couple of level 30s, and go here and there, I'll be able to do more at 60, even in terrible gear, than at 19 twinked out. Right? So... Those are all things that I think about again.
But yeah, I'm just kind of like soaking it all in. Just enjoying this. I, I just can't get over the, uh, the nostalgia. Like, it's just unreal. Like I said, I was in my mid-twenties when I did this. Now I'm like in my early forties. Almost half a lifetime ago. Almost, not quite. And it's just like... It's just wow. <laughs> it really is something else. <clears throat> Like I said, it's so difficult, but yet so rewarding. Piss. <laughs> For real. How long did that guy stay at his login screen before he said, You know what? Piss on it. Piss water. Piss water. What the... I tell you. Not too sure where we're going. I think we're gonna accept a quest. We're gonna talk to Chemist Cully. Cully or whatever. <clears throat> there we go. I'm just glad I have my mount, even though it's just a level 41. I am forsaken. <clears throat> Arathi Basin. I just want to see something. Average Q... I'm not going to do the battleground. I just want to know what the average is. It says 11 minutes. I'm just going to queue to see how long it actually takes. Uh, follow the path down. Yeah, okay, it's back there. <clears throat> like I said, I love recording this footage because, you know, someday as a joke, I guess, you know, 10, 15 years from now, if I'm still alive. <laughs> I could potentially watch back some of my own old footage and go, oh yeah, that's what it looked like, and, you know. Where is this chemist? I think he's back here. Follow the path down, there we go. I like that, eh? Having an arrow just tell me where to go, I don't have to think. Because I'm not going to lie, I have such terrible OCD. ADHD, all, just all these things, right? That I overcomplicate everything. <clears throat> oh my god, where should I quest? What quest should I grab? Oh, did I miss this one? And... What will you require? Huh, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? And I overcomplicate things sometimes, so having a guide... <clears throat> is nice. Joanna, Joanna's guide, it was called, like 15, 20, well, not 20 years ago. <laughs> Slow down there, 20 years ago. Uh, 15 years ago, <clears throat> when I was new to WoW and I didn't really know what to do, I played on my own without any guides. I just kind of winged it here and there. And I eventually said, you know what, forget it, let me get a guide. And I bought one. But it was annoying because I had to alt-tab out to read it. However, I did it. And I leveled up a lot faster because I didn't have to think about where I had to go. I still had to play the game. But I enjoyed my whole trip not having to think about where I should go. <clears throat> because right now, I don't know where I should go. What is it? Beware. Enemies about. Purchase these. Put these. Why is it that sometimes for the guide it'll be like, oh, talk to William Montag. Put these <coughs> in in a in a bag. Well, maybe it's because you won't need them for a long time. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, I screwed that up. The field testing kit, box of empty vo eh, whatever. I don't really care. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit, like I said. Kinda still get that feel, that taste for, uh, for this game. Try to get the 47. Then I'll probably just uh, end the video, but at least you know, as I was messing around and ranting and raving and rambling and complaining. At least you got an idea as to uh, what it is I'm hoping to get out of the game and that I'm still just that. You know? Oh, wow, that's a small bag. Oh, that's a Jesus. Uh, what bag is that? That's a 10 slot bag. There we go. Maybe I'll do that. What does it want me to do? Field testing kit. Yeah, there's the field testing kit. And then we'll put... We'll put the vials in here. Because <clears throat> they do take up quite a bit of room. Oh, no. Collect these from the bank. Now I have to collect. I don't recall having the bundle of Atal Eye artifacts. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Ooh. Oh, I do have it. It's a bag. Well, that doesn't look like much of an artifact to me. Okay, good, good. Now we're flying to Taran Mill. This is kind of exciting because these are all <clears throat> some hot zones again. Wait, what am I doing? I am so distracted. It's unbelievable. And I always forget where the flight path master is. He's like somewhere over here. I mean, yes, I could have looked at the mini map there because it tells me where to go, but I mean, like on my own. What is it? Yes, I know that I'm mounted. <clears throat> Uh, and I have nothing else to drink. So this, you know, I know is incredibly slow. There's not a lot of action, there's no PvP, there's no funny moments. But it's showcasing, you know, just the game. What you could be going through. You know, maybe you've never played World of Warcraft. Or you have, but you haven't played Classic since, well, it was Classic. 15 years ago, and you kind of want an idea of what you could be looking at. <clears throat> it's not Call of Duty. You don't just giddy up and get right into the action. But the idea is that when you do get in the action, you're hoping it's going to be more satisfying. <clears throat> oh, that cratered a dollar rent. Yeah, it is there. That's right, it is there. But you can't, like, walk through it or something. I can't remember. Because, again, there's differences. Remember, Kata was one of the biggest game breakers ever when it uh, forever changed the world as we know it. So, yeah, there's the glowing globe. So that was always there from day one. Oh, man, this was a hard place to quest, too, this area. <clears throat> Yeah, so even if they go as far as Wrath of the Lich King, to be honest. You know, which wouldn't be for quite some time. Obviously, because Burning Crusades would come first. Uh, I mean, that's just incredible. <clears throat> and then what's fun about Burning Crusade is you can fly in Burning Crusade. 
Remember, I went there in one of my videos there when I was playing. Oh, I might have deleted it. I was there on my druid. My horde druid, and I went in and I got one-shotted by one of the 120 elite guards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, do I ever miss old Tarn Mill just the way it looks. I hate the new... Tarn Mill. Just a lot of the new build. I just don't effing like it. I really am a grumpy old prick. Uh, because... Yeah. You know? <laughs> I just don't like it. I just really like the way this looks. Like, I mean... To me, this is... This is the real deal. <clears throat> like, this is a lot of fun. A lot of... Reminiscing. You know, something tells... Eh, you know what? So sure. Yeah, you don't want to go to South Shore. I'll get my ass beat there for sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna go this way. Oh, where's he going? Don't be shy, man. He's playing with the voodoo. He's got that globe sparkling around him. I know he's up to no good. What's his ulterior motive for being here? I think these turtles and the crates and the water around here in general, <clears throat> if you fish, you get a book for track fishing pools. I'm like going where I'm not supposed to be going because I got distracted there with uh, Jim Bob there. But this is old school Hills brand. <clears throat> I do miss the speed of flying, though, a lot. Ugh. But it does ruin the world PvP, because you could just pop in, hop out, take off. At least having flying in the Burning Crusade area only wasn't so bad, you know? If you wanted to fly around, <clears throat> you could do it. We are going to the Hinterlands. That's a rough place. Man, this is a long video. But I should have known that because you can... You can't get that much done. Hey, hey, hey. You want some of this? You're gonna regret it. Remember, you came at me. <clears throat> Naughty birds. Skin your ass. Yeah, my poisons are already running out. <clears throat> I know deadly's not the best, but I had a lot of deadly poisons. So I just figured... Whatever. I'm glad spiders in real life aren't that big. Sweet pineapple. Yeah, so I'm kind of liking this video more that I'm uploading. Yes, it's boring. It's just some old bald prick flapping his gums about what he likes and doesn't like. But in this footage, we're seeing a few zones. We saw the Undercity, a little bit of uh, Orgrimmar. Like, there's a little bit of everything. You're getting a decent showcase of more than one zone. I have almost two hours of footage of me standing in one small circular area the size of Tarn Mill, uh, you know, farming a quest item for almost two hours. That's, I mean, unless I was like a stand-up comedian and I was incredibly funny and entertaining to listen to, that would be one thing, right? Because then you're you're kind of usually watching because of the YouTuber, right? That's what most people 
tend to say about live streams and recordings, it's you're not always <clears throat> watching the person because of the game they're playing or what they're doing in the game. You're more into what is it that they're going to say. There's reviewers that I find so incredibly funny. Like Mac from Worthabuy. I think he's so funny. I will watch a review on a game from him. I don't even give a shit about the game. He's just so funny, I want to hear what he has to say in that moment. So, <clears throat> unless you can do that, which I can't. Uh, the gameplay better be something. But then again, I'm also not really uh, into a lot of action, but at least we're watching. Yeah, great to meet you too. Don't ask me what that was. Ah, this is a grind step. Uh, I think I heard someone get off a mount. Am I gonna get shot? Reach level 47. Oh, I'm not that far off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, kill enemies around this area. Whoops. Yeah, these are blood elves. But the models didn't exist then, right? Anyhow. Now that I'm nearing the end of the video, it looks so funny because it looks like the, uh, he's swinging in slow motion sometimes. And then he, like, woof, woof, and then he, like, misses. Jesus. Take the wheel, because... <clears throat> I lost almost a third of my health just in that one fight. Open up with the garrot. Because I'm trying to, like, dot them up, and then we've got the, uh, the dot from the deadly poison, the bleed from the rupture. <clears throat> and you're just hoping that while I'm swinging one mile an hour and missing, that he's just... ...gonna bleed out. <clears throat> Heavy. Probably don't need it, but I want to get into the habit of it. Now let's try opening up with a kidney shot. And then a kidney shot to keep stunning him. <clears throat> it's less damage because you're doing a lot more crowd control, right? Took a lot less damage there. So the downtime. Uh oh. How did you see me? Stay away. Oh wow, I forgot. So that did take a while. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be doing, uh... Oh yeah, I got Fairy Fire. Remember that from the Druids? Fairy Fire? They prevent uh, rogues from being able to stealth. While I'm rested... <clears throat> I'm almost done here, because I'm starting to... Like, in between takes there, like the recording, I think it was like an hour apart. I think I pretty much forgot a lot of what I was saying, which is why I kind of stopped going on about my differences between WoW Classic and Retail and all that. I still can't stealth. There we go. That now I just wanted to show you a little bit of footage of the game, and really that's pretty much it. Come here. And like I said, once I hit 47, put on my new gear.
then that's going to be pretty much it. Oh, sh shite. That can be deadly for a rogue. Now, I know what you're thinking. Blind him. <clears throat> Which is what I did. But I had to mouse click it because I don't remember... I don't remember what my keybind was for that. Alright, let's speed up our attack power. Not getting a lot of combo points, so there's no point in kidney shotting him. Ah, that feels good. Yes. What about the other one? Hello. 12 agility, 11 stamina. Yeah, because 21, 15. <clears throat> 2225. No. It wants me to put this one on. I'm like, what is wrong with you? That's definitely not what I want to do. I mean, now that I'm here, I've got three talent points that I haven't put in. Talent advisor. I forget where it said I should put the points into. I forget how that works. Yeah, I'll have to do that on my own. <clears throat> it's just a few points, and I know they can all make a difference. Oh, we gotta go and get the flight path at Raven Tusk Village. <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is I'll bring you there, just because, you know, that's so exciting. And then I'm gonna end the video. And no, I'm not going to stealth there the whole time. I'm just trying to... You know, whatever. Gather myself here. Hinterlands can be pretty nasty. What am I talking about? Any zone can be nasty. I really don't find... <clears throat> The graphics that bad, I know I keep going on about it, but like the grass and all that, the rendering. Uh, back in patch 4, was it Cataclysm? After... Wrath of the Lich King, which the last patch was like 3.3.5 or something like that. The rendering got <clears throat> really terrible. I just like being social and say hi to people sometimes. In retail, piss on them. I don't talk to people there. They're all scrubs. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously though. <clears throat> yeah, so the rendering distance I find is actually better in Classic. The way the engine was, they did something in Cataclysm and things would kind of like disappear out of nowhere. <clears throat> Rocks in the distance and all that. Oh, you're just angry because I killed your two brothers. Oh, you sneaky little bitch. And you're pissed off because I killed your brother. It's sad, eh? <clears throat> that even in... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I ate something earlier. <clears throat> and then I drank. You know, sometimes it could tickle your epiglottis there in your throat. And I feel like I gotta get, keep clearing my throat. Sometimes it gets really bad. That I can't record. Okay, this is ridiculous. This can actually be a death sentence. It's kind of pathetic. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead.
<clears throat> that was a fail. Ah. Wait, that potion did like nothing. Oh, I was gonna say, if that's a horde, I'm screwed. Whew, that was a close one. Gotta eat. That's a part of the fun. <clears throat> Oh, I should follow him because I don't remember. Whoops. Ah. Where the entrance is. I think it's there. There's like an opening in the mountain. And I just don't recall where it is. Ah, oh, these fucking wolves. And then you get knocked off your mount easily. I can only vanish every three and a half minutes. I'm telling you, the classic life is hard. It's punishing. It's unforgiving. Ah, <sighs> but it's so satisfying. <clears throat> yeah, I remember this all too well. Like, literally. All of this. How come there's no music? There's a way to have music. There, loop music. So that it's constantly always playing? There we go. Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, in closing, I've said it a million times. <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm just gonna keep enjoying my time. And, uh... Hopefully sooner than later, I can decide... What it is I want to do. Do I continue to play? Do I even bother recording what I'm playing? You know? That's another thing. I'm gonna grab these skins. Because it's just good. Turtle scales. I think those can sell for a bit. I don't remember. We're almost at 300 skinning. Nice. What I do like, <clears throat> the playstyle of, by the way, uh, for a rogue, like, that I actually don't mind even in PvE, PV even though you're like, what, did you just say that? Uh, I'm gonna say it, just the skill, the sounds, everything about it. I really do like sub. I really do like subtlety. Uh, I know it's a lot less damage. It's nowhere near, like, you know, this, but, uh, I really do enjoy it, <clears throat> and I remember having a lot of fun in PvP with it, back in this day. Vile Branch Hooligans from Smith, well he's right here. Blood and thunder. Except Cannibalistic Cousins. Except, oh yeah, I remember this. <clears throat> the dancing guy. How you doing, man? Relax. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah, don't ask me what that was. How you doing, man? Hello, man. 
this guy. Wait, did, did he not? Oh. Oh, I'm going to discover the flight path. And that will conclude this video. I would like to buy from you. Oh, I do have a fishing pole. Okay. Sell grace. Forget. Oh, okay, it won't sell. Okay, that's fine. Long, elegant feather. <clears throat> I don't think I need it. I don't think I need these for a quest. I don't remember. But I'll, uh... I'll keep some of them around in case... And here we go. <clears throat> Speak <for you. clears throat> Excuse me. Where can I fly to? With that stupid... Bar there we go. Booty Bay. Stoneard. Yeah. Anyhow. So I'm gonna go to an inn. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to quest there. Oh boy. It's gonna be brutal. Where is there an inn? Usually where there's a mailbox, which is like right there. Yeah, so anyways. You liked the video, give it a thumbs up. You didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. You see that raptor? And I'll have that happen to you the next time you're getting ready to go outside. You open the door and frum, And then the claws just take your face right off. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And as always, hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye now.